So the IRS, now I know that they ain't telling you about this because they don't want you to know about it. They want you to be distracted on things that's not actually valuable for you. But the IRS, the IRS just released this week, just released this week, the new tax brackets. So let's talk about it, all right? So two new tax brackets for 2023. Uh, let me blow this up so y'all can see it. Now that we didn't got these chicks back home with their husbands. Uh, release this week, higher federal tax brackets and standard deductions for the 2023 amid soaring inflation. So why does the IRS then release this information for you or why are they raising the thresholds for what it is that they're telling you that you have to pay in taxes? They're not doing it to help you. They're doing it because the value of money is continuing to go down because we've had this conversation about inflation. All right. So we're not going to go over that. We're just going to deep dive. The income thresholds have increased for each bracket, which will apply for the tax year 2023. Now, some, some people will tell you, well, marriage isn't a business. Marriage is about love. OK, well, we're going to have that conversation this morning and we're going to give you the C students perspective. Tax brackets show how much a taxpayer will owe in federal income taxes on taxable income portion, which is calculated by adding up all of the income sources and then subtracting any standard deductions. So I'm going to give you a master class today. All right. Um, this is important. Calculated by adding up all income, all income sources, cash apps, right? Venmo's, PayPal's. They keeping track of that. Biden warned you all of that. We had this conversation over a year ago. All right. Your business income, 1099s, W-2s, everything that you've had come in as far as income this year is all a part of this. Now, I want to teach you how to look at it from a business perspective. And then I also want to have the conversation with you about these new tax brackets. Let's continue. If you're married. They start off married first. We're going to go away from that. We're going to start over um, with single. So let's start off with single. Single, 11% or less. I mean, $11,000 or less. If you single, you all, you individuals, you know what I'm saying? Y'all understand it. Y'all don't look at marriage as a business. You look at it as individuals. I've been coaching a lot of people over the last few days. If you make $11,000 or less, you got to pay 10% of taxes. That's roughly, if you make $11,000, that's $1,100 in taxes that goes to the federal government obviously your state is completely different it varies state to state so we just gonna go based off of the 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 federal government all right let's say you make forty four thousand seven hundred twenty six dollars forty four thousand seven hundred twenty six dollars that means that you're going to pay this plus twenty two percent of the amount over that so now let's take the difference Let's say that you make 44, 726, you're going to pay, pay this, right? That's not that bad. That's not that bad. But then let's say you make the difference between 44, 726 and 95,000. So let's say you make $80,000 or 84, 726. Let's say you make 84, 726. Now you're paying $5,100 $5, plus. 22% of the difference, which is an additional forty dollars to $50,000. So now you actually paying more money because you're going to be paying $9,000 in taxes if you make $80,000 a year. This is the sweet spot that you want to be in right here. This 44 range, this is the sweet spot if you're a single person, all right? If you're married, it practically doubles. This is the sweet spot. You want to be paying this $2,200 plus whatever the 12% ab above $22,000. Let's say, for example, I make $80,000 next year and I'm married. I make $80,000 next year and I'm married. That means that I'm automatically going to get hit with this $2,200, right? Right? And then I'm making above 2201. You following me? So now I got to pay an extra 12% on about $58,000. 
So my tax burden is going to be somewhere around $77,000, $88,000, somewhere around $8,000, $8,500. And then you got to pay your state taxes on top of that. So if I make $8,000, then I'm going to be paying basically 10% of my income. 10 to 12% of my income. So it all works out to about 10 to 12% of your income. So here's the thing. You want to stay in that threshold of wherever it is that you are within these percentages. If you're married, you want to stay under $89,000. If you're single, you kind of want to stay under $44,000. Well, the math don't really matter, right? The math don't really matter in this situation because here's the thing that I want you to take out from this. Here's the thing that I want you to take out from this. Let's say you're making $700,000. You're an athlete, you're a YouTuber, you're killing it or whatever, so on and so forth. By default, if you're married, if you're making $700,000, you're paying $186,000 plus 37% of the amount over that. So if you make a million dollars, you're really getting killed. Let's say you're single and you make $578,000, $126,000, by default, this is the amount of money that you're going to have to write as a check. By default, this is the amount of money that you're going to have to write as a check. And then you got to pay 37%, 37 of the amount over that amount that you make. Highway robbery. So what is the lesson that we want to take from this? How do you reduce the amount of money that you have to give over into the federal government? How do you reduce the amount of money? Because this is the single category and this is the married category. How do you reduce the amount of money that you have to give over to the federal government? Let's say a lot of y'all, because a lot of y'all want to be in that 22% tax bracket, right? You want to be in this if you marry. You want to be in this. Huh? You want to make $100,000 a year. You want to give over the money, right? Okay, cool. You single, you make $100,000 a year. That means that you automatically, by default, is paying the $16,000 plus 24% over whatever it is that you make over $95,000. Cool. You have to redu reduce it based off of your adjusted gross income. The amount of money that you have to pay in taxes is not how much money that you make on your W-2s. The amount of money that you pay in taxes is not the amount of money that you make in your business. The amount of money that you pay in your taxes it's all based off of your adjusted gross income. Anton, what is my adjusted gross income? Your adjusted gross income is all of your in so income sources. W-2s, 1099, businesses, all of that, right? You all take it and you collect it into one big, one big pot. And then you get standard deductions. And then on top of those standard deductions, right, you also get to take off the amount that you have to put into your business in order to continue to operate that business, whether it's profitable or not. So let's say, for example, that I make $100,000, right? I'm a single man. I make $100,000. So that means that I'm going to be in this 24% tax bracket, 16000 plus 24% of whatever it is that I make over that amount, right? Let's say I'm there. Let's say I'm paying $20,000 plus in taxes every single year just because I'm a $100,000 man. I get to give all of this money over to you guys, right? All of this money over to you guys because I'm a $100,000 plus man. Okay, cool. Well, then that means that I should have had businesses that I started that also allowed for me to continue to grow my assets while reducing the amount of money that I got to pay over to the federal government. One of the ways that you can do it, first, you need to make sure that you fund your 401k fully. Why do you want to fund your 401k? Okay, well, if I'm a single man and I make $100,000 a year and I give over twenty, twenty-one thousand dollars $21,000 into my 401k, that means that my adjusted gross income is under $80,000. That takes me back to a whole nother tax bracket. It reduces the amount of money that I have to pay over to the federal government because I'm going from 24% tax bracket because now I'm in the 44 to the 95,000. And so my default amount that I have to pay is not the 16,290, it's the five. One, four, seven amount. I'm not by default giving this over as a single man over into the federal government. I've now reduced myself to only being in this part. I'm giving over money into my 401k, which is going to continue to appreciate 
over time. And then when I'm older and, and I'm in a lower tax bracket, then I'll have to pay the taxes on that versus giving away an additional ten to fifteen thousand dollars over to the federal government for no reason. And they're incentivizing you to invest in yourself. So if I max out my 401k and I'm getting a match, that means that my adjusted gross income goes from one hundred thousand dollars down to seventy nine thousand dollars. Now I'm in a lower tax bracket. Now I'm in a lower tax bracket. Well, if I'm married, the thresholds go up for me to actually be able to cross over into a higher tax bracket. But you don't just stop there. What businesses did you start? Are you a content creator? Did you have to buy a camera? Did you have to go and vlog over there? Well, are your traveling expenses? Did you need a vehicle? Did you need a second vehicle outside of your personal vehicle in order to go over there and vlog? Did you have to take some flights over here in order to capture some footage? Are you in real estate? Are you building houses? Are you investing into real estate? The key is to make sure that you reduce the amount of money that you have to spend on your personal expenses because that's the money that you get taxed on. But instead, you want to deploy all of your resources into things that add into your net worth, which increases your value while reducing the amount of money that you have to give over into the federal government. Let me say that one more time. Increasing the amount of money that you're allocating into your investments, which also reduces the amount of money that you have to give over into the federal government. They're incentivizing you to invest in yourself and not to stunt for these people that don't care anything about you so that you then increase your net worth. Okay, well, Anton, how do we extrapolate this over into what's going on with the UAW and the strikes or everything like that? Don't you know that some of these CEOs take $1, $1 as their compensation as CEO and their base pay? Most CEOs, very rarely do you ever see a CEO negotiate their compensation package to have more than a six-figure base pay. All of their assets or all of their, their pay, and they're always going to be richer than you no matter how much that you protest. You can protest for a 46% pay raise. You're still going to be paying in the top income, income tax bracket. You know why? Because all of their compensation is based off of equity in the company because now that equity continues to increase as the value of the company go up and they reduce their tax burden because they don't have to, they, they don't have to pay taxes until they sell. Meanwhile, they can also take a loan out against the equity that they have and they don't have to pay taxes on the loan money that they take. So I'll give you an example. Man, this is too much game. Make sure y'all join the Patreon. Link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. You ask me, Anton, why is credit so important for rich people? Why do rich people use credit if credit ain't important? They use it differently than you. They don't use it in order to buy shit so they can pay interest on it. They leverage their assets to then draw off of it in order to get a loan so that they don't have to pay taxes on the money they get loans on. So as long as you got assets, you get the lowest, the lowest interest rate. So basically the money is free. They leave it in their assets and equity. And then what they do is they then use those loans in order to buy the things at a reduced rate because they don't have to pay the taxes on it. So you go to work, pay taxes, and then spend your money on the things that you need every day. They continue to reduce their lifestyle to not need it continue to build equity in the things that actually continue to appreciate over time, real estate, assets in the company, so on and so forth, their businesses, and then they take out loans against it. Billionaires, millionaires take out loans against their assets so that they can then substantiate the lifestyle that they want without having to pay the same taxes as you do in order to live the lifestyle that they're doing. And it's not fraud. It's 100% legal. When Mark Zuckerberg, Jay-Z, Beyonce, Warren Buffett, Elon Musk says that I don't own a house. They don't own a house. They don't need the house. It's not even in their name. They don't even have anything in their names. They say, I don't own a house. I borrow money from my friends. I borrow money from the bank. When Elon Musk bought Twitter, right, he didn't use all of his money over there to buy Twitter. When he goes and buy a house, when Mark Zuckerberg buy all of y'all land, what you think that he's cashing out money that he's getting from Facebook in order to do it? No, he's taking a loan out against his equity position that he has in Facebook, and then he uses it in order to buy the properties 
and then he pays a very, very small interest rate and the bank is willing to give it to him because they know that he's good for it based off of the collateral that he put up in order to take that loan out in the first place. What you want to do is reduce the amount of money that you have to pay your adjusted gross income, which then allows you to also deploy your assets and your resources into things that appreciate over time. And then what that does is it allows for you to become richer because riches is not based off of how much money you got in your pocket. It's based off of your net worth, your net worth, your net worth. Everybody keep holding up the money phone. I know you broke as fuck if you got the money phone. I know you broke as hell if you got a money phone because you don't even understand how money work. As long as I'm liquid, I could buy anything that I want. I have access to anything that I want. As long as I'm liquid, I have access to anything that I want. Listen, if y'all just buying big ass houses and it's just in your name, if y'all just buying big ass houses and it's just in your name, I know that you don't understand how money work. I know you don't understand how money work. If you paying an egregious amount of taxes because you're trying to live a lifestyle, I know you don't understand how money work. You're going to be broke. Why don't, why you think I don't respect these athletes? Why you think I don't respect these rappers? Why you think I don't respect these entertainers? Why you think that they don't mean anything to me because they in a higher tax bracket? They the ones that's paying for your roads and schools. Y'all actually should be respecting them. I don't respect them because they don't have the business acumen to actually understand how it is. They, they should be moving from a financial perspective. When you see that athlete get that $100 million contract, that's a $40 million contract. And then after he pays agents, that really go down to a $30 million contract after he pays all of the people that he's supposed to pay, his managers, his agents, and all of that. Listen, that $100 million contract after taxes, agents, fees, all of this type of stuff, and then they have to support the lifestyle in order for you to continue to embrace them, is really nothing. And they only get a small, a, a small window in order to really live it. Y'all think that these people balling? These people don't know nothing about money. These people don't know nothing about money. A hundred million for them is really like 20. And they still got to live the lifestyle. And they got to trick off on these hoes. And they riding the PJs, the private jets, and all of this shit. And ain't nothing that they doing an actual real business write off because they don't understand business. And they don't understand money. They got a short window, and then they're going to be trying to do what it is that we do, and they're going to be trying to catch the game later because they didn't understand how to move a little bit differently. Ain't that crazy? Y'all worship these people when they have no clue whatsoever? No clue whatsoever what they talking about and what they doing. Y'all worship these people when they have no clue of what they doing. These is children getting finessed hoping that they have some kind of asset to live on after they retire, and they got a short window in order to be able to do it. They got to keep up with the rat race just like you. And they hate the fact that they look at their paycheck and it's coming out like that. It's a fact. It's a fact. Listen, when they laugh at you for living a modest lifestyle, even though you get into the bag, remember, they the fools. You not. When they laugh at you because you still live a modest lifestyle, you comfortable, your kids go to a good school, every single thing. My personal expenses on a, on a monthly basis equates to less than $1,000 a month. My personal expenses, meaning that I don't need to use the money in order to continue to maintain a lifestyle, is less than $1,000 a month. That's a fact, though. This studio that I'm talking to you on, this camera, right, the software that I buy, all of this stuff is business expenses. Every single thing that I do, the cars that I'm using in order to get back and forth to the real estate sites, the, the, the marketing and promotional tools that I'm using, the every single thing that I do is literally, it can be justified as a business expense. Real estate, content creation, all of these different things is justified as a business expense. The very devices that I'm sitting there talking to y'all on, on coaching calls, those are business expenses. All of the stuff that I got to purchase for myself is for free. This hat, shout out to people love good quality. I wear free shit. 
This T-shirt, I spent my own money on this. I spent $7.99 for this T-shirt. $7.99 to live stream with this T-shirt on. This is, this is practically free. I had to buy this. Ooh, you're not about to get me to use my own money, and I can't even write that off as a business expense? This T-shirt, listen, what I spent on my outfit versus what you spent on your outfit that you can't even write off is different. It's different. Shout out to people love good quality. Look, man, I got the whole fleet of hats up here. I switch up every day. I switch up every day. I got a new hat on every day. I'm, I got new hats all galore. Listen, if it ain't free, if it got to cost me, if I got to use my own business expenses in order to do it, I don't want it. I don't want it. While you over here living a life, I'm going to spend about $12,000 a year in my personal expenses. I'm going to pay significantly less than you in taxes. You're going to make $100,000 a year. I'm going to make an egregious amount in a year. And then you're going to pay more in taxes than me. I'm going to pay less in taxes than you. I'm going to have more assets than you. I'm going to get richer than you. I'm going to continue to negotiate my compensation from my regular job to be 98% in equity and 2% in base pay. <laughs> the 2% in base pay is all going to go into my 401k. Are you listening to me or are you just you just feeling some type of way? The two percent, the rest of the of my of my of my uh my compensation is gonna go into my 401k, right? And the rest of it is gonna be in equity. All of the rest of the stuff that I do is gonna absolutely be going into business expenses. Anton, why are you building houses? I ain't got no fucking choice. I gotta get rid of the money. I'm not about to be doing it just to be stunting on y'all. I'm building houses because I got to get rid of the money. I can't buy enough land. I can't buy enough places. I'm looking for deals. Just be looking for deals. Listen, I spend 98% of my time when I get off this live stream, I'll be on my iPad, Redfin, calling agents, whatever, so on and so forth. I got to get rid of it. I have to get rid of the money. What you thought I was going to be spending it on you? You thought I was going to be tricking? Listen, listen, listen. When we do, <laughs> I shouldn't even be telling y'all this. End of November, I'm going to be about, we doing the numbers, we doing the calculations, and we anticipating being about twenty dollars to $30,000 off. twenty dollars to $30,000 off to where I'm going to be hitting an, an complete, a completely new tax bracket because I can't spend enough, the money fast enough, right? Listen to me. Hear me out. I want you to be able to bring it in. Because I'm going to be about twenty to 30000 off, I said, you know what? We're going to do the build your business pitch, and I'd rather spread that money out and give it to the people in a form of grants. Y'all say, Anton, he don't want no equity in our business or none of that. Well, I got to get rid of the money. Why would I give an egregious amount of money over into the federal government instead of giving it to y'all? Why would I go into a different tax bracket instead of giving it to y'all to make sure that I reduce my tax bracket? I got to get rid of the money. So I'd rather give it to you. So we're going to break it up. We're going to have the people pitch me at the end of November. Why you think it's at the end of the year? So I can be right at where it is that I need to be and project it. Y'all going to pitch me y'all businesses. I'm going to give y'all y'all seed money. And we all going we all gonna to win. See, I'm the only person that's going to be transparent with y'all. I'm the only person that's going to be 100% transparent with y'all and say, yeah, I got to get rid of the money or I'm going into another tax bracket. So we're going to do a build your business series. Y'all going to pitch me and I'm going to make sure that I give y'all the money in order for y'all to use it effectively. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. I benefit. You benefit. Everybody wins. Shout out to the bag chasers. That's what we going to do. I'm going to be about twenty to 30000 off, so I got to give people seed money in order to be able to vet out their businesses effectively. Prepare. Get your pitches ready. Make sure you join the Patreon. Link is in the description as well as, well as pinned to the top of the chat. We're going to make sure that we give it to the people instead of giving it to Biden and them. We already did the numbers. If you're part of the Patreon, you've seen me show this type of information. You know exactly what my numbers look like. It's crazy. It's in the millions. 
It's crazy. It's in the millions. So while all of these guys is over here giving y'all these blackity black speeches, telling y'all to hit the fucking cash app, having a conversation with y'all, telling y'all what it is that y'all should and shouldn't do with y'all money in order to support the movement and all of this. How many of them is going to give you the game on how to keep more money in your pocket and is actually putting the money up to give back to their community instead of taking away from you? How many people is going to give back to their community and give you the game on how it is that you can leverage what it is that they're giving you in order to continue to level up versus versus taking away from you and keeping it, keeping you oppressed in these victim Olympics in order to ensure that you can come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. I need you to take this money. <laughs> I need you to take this money. Get your business pitches together. Stop operating under duress. Don't you know that what it is that you put into the Patreon is actually a write-off? Don't you know that coaching is a write-off if you allocate, if you designate it properly? Anyways, that's too much game. I didn't already gave y'all too much. I wasn't even expecting to have this conversation with y'all. I was just going to show y'all the new tax brackets, but I decided to be generous this morning. Huh? I decided to be generous this morning. God bless you.